Welcome back from the lunch break, everyone. Council, are we ready with the um, witness to continue? Uh, if so, please proceed. Yes, Mr. Chair, we're ready to proceed. The witness is being ushered in. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, welcome, welcome back, Mr. Job. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Job, you are the last. Thank you all. Uh, before the break, Balanjon dem chi break bi. You told us about two important events or incidents that occurred in your life. Wahanga nyu nyari hev hev yo hamrelo am solo leji sadunda. The first was uh, your arrest and torture uh, during. The, well, well, when the UDP intended to hold a rally at Fitzgerald Street in 2002. And the second one, you talked about was your arrest by NIA officers during which you were taken to the NIA, tortured electrocuted on your private parts, uh, resulting in your loss of manhood and uh, being made to lie on cold floor as a result of which you suffered chronic pneumonia. Benen bi moy biñ la jappé yobbu la NIA def la fa ay mititel yu bari yo xamné jël nañ courant di la ko def ci sa yaram bi be taxna sax nga ñak sa goria ak it ay mi gañu gañu ci bari yo xamné am nga ko ci sa yaram bi ci jamanu joju nga xamné ñu ngi la jëlon yobbu la fofu ci NIA and uh, finally you were detained at the NIA for 2 months after which you were transferred to the remand wing of uh, mile 2 prisons and released soon after gana bi nak ñu jëlé la NIA yobbu la remand fofu ci mile 2 di re ñaari wër yo xamné ya nga fofu gana bi nak ci lañ la doora bayyi and uh, you were never taken before any court té nak mu suñ la yobbu ci court now let's proceed with your testimony légui nak ñu égalé sa CDI uh, your arrest, detention, and torture of 2011 was not the last time you had an encounter with the security forces of this country, correct? Arrest, when you arrest on, you have to be able to admit it to you in 2011. And you have to be able to do it. Do you know? Uh, tell, tell us about the incident in April 2016. Thank you very much, Council. Thank you. April 2016, Westfield an incident. That incident happened at the Westfield. It was when the executive left Osenu's compound heading to the Westfield. Uh, Mr. Witness, let's give a bit of background to this. Uh, did anything happen on 14th or 15th April 2016 concerning the UDP party? Yes, something happened. Could you tell us about it? Incident Westfield That incident happened at the Westfield. What was it about? That was when the UDP executive came out from Osenu's compound coming towards Westfield. What were they coming to do? They were coming for a political reform. Uh, how were they doing that? 
This was the one I took part in. Uh, we understand this is the one you witnessed and participated in. Mm. But was there any earlier demonstration that day or the, or, or, or the days preceding, the days prior to that? Yes, this is the one concerning the late solo Sunday and the others. At Bambo, Bambo Night Club Johnson, Bambo, Safidin. At the Bambo Night Club Johnson in Safidin. And what was that about? Bobo Mom Lanlawan. Bobo, Bobo Tamit, Solo Mogena. A guy who put up a very political reform in the same problem. Solo came out with his colleagues on political reforms. He came out before Useno. And do you know what happened to the demonstration that was led by Solo Sanding? Solo Sanding, Moko Jitewon. Listen to the question carefully. Do you know what happened to Sole Sanding during that demonstration that he led? Wow. Yes. Tell us about it. That was where he got arrested and uh, lost his life. They took him to the NIA and tortured him. People like Yankuba Baji. Tamba Masiri. Tamba Masiri. They are nine in numbers. That was where Solo lost his life. Of course, you are not present during this torture, were you? Why? I was in the NIA, but where they were and where I was was different. Uh, while you were at the NIA, you knew for certain that Solo Sandeng was also there? Yes. In essence, you are telling us that Solo Sandeng was arrested around Bambo. Mm -hmm. And uh, you too were subsequently arrested and taken to the NIA. When Melni dag nyobuga wah ne solo sanding, then ko arrest on chibori bambo. Gana lulu tamit yobi tamit gana bichilen ya arrested. Wah, so the case be in in Westfield. Yes, our case was at the Westfield. The thing was Westfield now on. Ours was at Westfield. The demonstration you participated in. And the demonstration led by Solo Sandeng, did they happen on the same day or different dates? Yo, nyatu bobunga hamne yo, chinga bokon. At nyatu banga hamne Solo Sandeng, moko jite won. Nah, ben nebes bila hewan, nah, besi ute la won. No, therefore different. Besi, therefore ute. Besi, mwa fatu lakubesi, why it was a different day? It was a different day, even though I cannot recall the day. Which one occurred first? Bana chi jitu samorom. Busolo bimu jitu. The one by Solo was... First, in a sense, Solo Sandeng led this demonstration for political reforms, mm. as you suggested, uh, at around Bambo uh, in, in, in London Corner. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Solo Sandeng, the Fujita won't have to be, and you don't have to be, I saw Palio Hamlet and Kowara Defiwali, 
election bi mo hewe won nak ca bambu non la non la non la deme as far as you know was he arrested on the day of that demonstration or on a different date ci yow li nga xam bes bobu mu don def ñaxtu bi ci lañ ko japp wala benen bes lañ ko japp mo mu ne fatale ko fok na that very day lañ ko tie if i recall well i think it was the very day that he was arrested ah do you know what was the exact reason why the executive of the udp had to come out and and make their own demonstration ndax xamone nga se digga digga lan mo waralon kilifa yi nga xamne ñom ñoo jité udp ñu genn pour di def ñaxtu yu mel nonu ñaxtu bobu moy bay té solo that protest was after they arrested solo o seenu di laajé solo dead or alive o seenu was demanding for solo either dead or alive so lolu bokk na ci lita executive gina that was one of the reasons why the executive came out a political reform bitam yeb ci la bokk and also the political reform to was also part of it uh, let's try to uh, understand what you're saying uh, you're suggesting that the executive of the udp also made a demonstration during which they demanded that solo sending be handed over to them dead or alive like. that's what you say yes wa ñu leral fofu rek yow li nga bëgg wax ni moy ne ñi nga xamne ñom ñoy jiti udp bi ñom dañ gennon gannaaw bo xamé ne ñu ngi jappon solo ñom nak ñu genn di laccé ne ñom solo lañ soxla mo xam mu dunda wala mu dédal dañ soxla solo moy diga that's true that was the demonstration in which you participated correct bobu moy ñaxtu bi nga xamne yow mi ci nga bokko wow bu executive bi di gëna non yes the one in which the executive came out could you tell us about that demonstration and your role in it di ñu mëna wax mbiri ñaxtu bobu naka la démé ak yow mi lan mo ci won sa taxaway man dama joggé banjul i came from banjul in fact mitu wa executive is on the way they are coming through westfield in fact i did not meet the executive on their way coming to westfield man dama ta won nawek johnson fofu i was standing by the nawek johnson the group of people la fa feka with a group of people that i met thousands of thousands of people the thousands of people nawek johnson were in you know cooperative fofu by the cooperative fofu ling taxaw ñun man fa la dem taxaw that was where we stood that was where i stood so you have information How did you know that something was going to happen on that day? Naka nga xamé né amna lu warona xew bes bobu. Wa man ci parti bi la bokal li xew dama ko li wara am dama ko dé yek. I am a party member of the party and if anything is to happen I'm always informed. Amon nani li dina lolu dina xew. I knew that that was going to happen. To man mo dem taw fa la né kon. So I went and stood. I was there. information on intercept men in around commune johnson kairaba avenue i got information that they were in, intercepted around the commune johnson by the pi officers by the kairaba avenue by pi officers who was intercepted executive bi no useno ñep the executive useno and the others mm. perhaps perhaps you should wait, wait for the interpretation mm. thank you who was intercepted can can mo len gatandu won no useno ak executive bi useno and the executive and uh, what happened during that process lan mo xew nak ci jamono bobu ñi len arrest they arrested them du ko len ci truck border them on a truck who arrested them kan mo len arrest the pi officers the pi officers how many of them who were arrested if you know ñaata ci ñom len arrest won bu dey xam nga ko executive bi blay arrest won ñi gënon ñepp the entire executive was arrested those that came out bam des kena except one aji soare aji soare jabari dembo by force the wife of J- dembo by force so hole natal bi sa munki munki if you look at the photograph she was there munfa she was there why mom rek mo ci miss but she was the only one missing ak dafa lucky trop she was very lucky ni ko def ci don bokki otherwise she would have been wa ñi fa nek ñepp lañ ti but all those that were there Nom were chemis, arrested ñom kemi sen jamé ñom femi pitas people like uh, kemi sen jamé femi de, pitas de, de, deputy speaker the deputy speaker ñom ñep all of them and but you are not at the scene of arrest you are at uh, 
cooperative uh, union end yow nek lo won ci beure ba nga xamne fa lañ len doon arrester yow ya ngi won ci bori cooperative nonu wow yes so how did you come to know of this arrest naka nga xame mbiri arrest bi parce que dafa ñu ñi fa joge those that came from there our party militants lañ where our party militants ñu ñu joñu information bi they came and gave us the information and what was the information you received ban ban xibar lañ la jox ñu ñu téne executif bi yépp ñu usseeno gaay yépp ñu gënon yépp téne ñu leen they told us that they arrested the whole executive those that came out usseeno and the others all of them were arrested dem dess aji soare except aji soare and uh, how did you feel when you had that information ba nga dégué xibar bobu nak yow lo yek i was very shock na yarna ma torop it pained me a lot ma mi di torop it pained me a lot parce que ni ci lañ gëna sen right la because what they came out for was their right pour la politique politique réforme bo is for everybody and the political reform was for everybody is for the gambia lolu mota yaya jamé lolu sax boko ni ta yaya jamé gëna fi that was one of the reasons why yaya jamé left this place so having had that information that the party you supported the leadership was arrested what did you do next bi nga joté xibar bobu nak na yo parti bi nga xamné ñom nga faral sen khalifa yeb arrest nañ leen lo def ñu dañ doon pare joggé fofu nawek johnson pour dem di wot kairaba avenue we were about to leave the in nawek johnson to head on to the kairaba avenue before ñuy pare départ before we departed you bi ci trop bi ñew a military truck arrived you said we uh who are you referring to when you said we ñu bari la nañ ñun so nañ ñun la yeen ñan la ñu bari la won we were many a so group of people can you give us an an estimate less than 2000 people ñu mëna jox ñaata nit la ci less than 2000 people parce que different places lañ joge ñi birkama different you know they came from different places in the gambia different places some from birkama ñi joge passé of the gambia ñi joge from no you know no ñi gambia four corners yep some came from basse from the whole four corners of the gambia that group were they coordinated by anybody molo momu nak ndax amna kenen ko xamne mo len jité won di len jëfal wa du ñaaka nak undoubtedly parce que different people of adaje du ñaaka amna ko fa roy ne ko because different people met there and uh, it is inevitable that someone would be coordinating the affairs and uh, were all these people members of the udp as far as you know of course ñi nga wax ni ñep ndax udp lañ ko won yes wa party militants lañ they were party militants and they headed towards westfield they ñu ngi jublu won westfield and then what happened la na xew ganaaw bobu before westfield before ñu joge fa before we left there comme ni ma la koy c'est le military truck we arrive as i told you it was when the military truck arrived am ñu joge piyu kani fi fofu some came from the piyu in kani fi there the piyu officers lañ ñoomit those were piu officers am sen batin ye sen helmet they had their batins and their helmets no attack the crowd they came and attacked the crowd from the military truck bi mom accident be pare at that time the military truck had already arrived fofu la gay dore di jom suñ kaw that was when they started jumping on us with their life round with their life rounds he said yeah yes. accident bali fetel Uh, uh, who are you referring to when you said they started jumping on us ñan nga wax ni bo waxe ne dañ commencer di top ci sen kaw ay soldats lay they were soldiers so when jumpé ci kaw ci palu suñ kaw so when they jumped on us man amna kuma ci xamé nak there was one person i recognized you go oy how much something sane he was in the navy they called him something sir ne he was in the navy ko ko that guy is the guy who shot fafa nyang that was the guy who shot fafa nyang how do you know that he was the guy that shot fafa nyang na nga nga xame ne mo mo fetel fafa nyang parce dama ko dess dama dess setan ya mo mo testify fi i watched you and him as he testified here uh, and uh, do you know his name 
I'm going to run. Wow, I want not to run. I'm not landing home alarm in something like that. Why not to run? Yes. It, was in, it was in the Navy. I knew his name. Is it a Lamin or Landing son? But okay. he was in the Navy. Are you sure about the son? That's Santa Vinola. Well, something a small mistake with the Lula Nekadal. In the moment, we fight it wrong. Why? One Hamian Ako personally. It's something like that. Maybe I forgot his name, but I can recognize him. Can you describe him? Munganyo Waham Nakalamel. Why are you Amta Hawaii? He's well built. Very new cook. And he's a black collar. It's dark in complexion. From red berry. He used to put on a red berry. Tall or medium height or short? Good on you. You are a man from Dr. Hawaii. Almost my height. And you're so much of them, you put him on the other side. Why? No, you are a height, man. If you would be taller than me, it will just be a little bit. But we should be of the same height. I would give you a few names and you tell us. Uh, which one is correct? Lamin Sise, Lamin Koli, Lamin Jamme, uh, Landing Jamme, Lamin Landing Sise. Which one? It's Lamin Koli. Lamin Koli. Lamin Koli. Lamin Koli. Is newspaper with Fisa? I brought a statement. I brought a newspaper here when I came to give give my statement. Now it was a point newspaper. So, how do you know it is Lamin Koli? Nakanga Hamene, Koko Lamin Kolila. Because it was in the Navy at the seaport. Because it was in the Navy at the seaport. So in Navy, like every time we do the volunteer, they were our neighbors and we were interacting with them all the time. Did you know him personally or you merely recognized him? Hamga Komom, Chibopa, Ninda, Danko Hamere. How Makonak? I don't know him. Why Hamena, Moko Hamere? But I recognized him. But do you realize that uh, Lamin Koli is in fact not as tall as you? Well, I have got a Lamin Koli mom. You all need come here and get your You are perhaps uh, way taller than him, if I may put it that way. Well, I'm saying that you are going to get your foot. I'm not possible. It can be possible. It looks possible. I'm going to describe that way. I'm not possible. You know, it's just a description, but it can be possible. But you are right anyway. But and Lamin. Koli was a medic. The Lamin Koli mom fight cat lawon. Wow, na am pas ki navy be am na military doctors. Yes, it could be because the navy also have military doctors. But how do you know that the person you had an encounter with is called Lamin Koli? Na kanga hamene na kyo koko nga jotel no no Lamin Koli latuda. Pas ki si crowd be mangi dega am na nyohame say nyong ham 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 nengko nyonge otram di koyo. Because in the crowd, there were some who knew him and they were calling his name. But how do you know that he testified before the TRRC? Nakanga Hamene, you know, Fiji Kanam TRRC. I saw him over television with you. Yeah. But would it surprise you to know that I did not lead him in evidence? He was led by my colleague, Maria Masingate. All the same, all of you, all of you were on the, wow. on the desk. <laughs> it could be a mistake, a mistake, but all of you were there. In fact, on that occasion, I was hardly on the table that day. I spent most of the time outside. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, fine. It's normal. <laughs> well, it's normal where you can serve me, anyway. It's fine. It's not better, right? But, but yet still, are you convinced positively that the person, the soldier you saw there on that day, was Lamin Koli? Because I'm a guy. He wounded me. How did he wound you? Naka, Lala Gagne. We. Fetel Lamadur, Tadi Fetel. He hit me with uh, the gun butt. Harsmo Jibi. Madanu. PI officer said you. He tore my forehead and I fell down. Can you give us a blow by blow rundown of how that happened? Uh, step by step, what happened? Ling yung muna wahal rek ja nang kan nang kalan mo ay linga ham ne mo hew bena bena.
ni hewan bus bo wujel ko jeko ko jeko ci ko nonu nanka nanka proceed please parce que ñom buñu ñëwé westfield ak military truck bi because when they came to the westfield in their military truck they jump suñ kaw and they jumped on us na mo bom jompé man la ñëk man la jaaka royal when he jumped he faced me mu door ma fétel ma daanu he hit me with a gun and i fell down pi ay officers yi bokk ci the pi ay officers were involved door ma ma daanu ci pax bo bu nekk nawek they beat me up and i fell into the dish by nawek moy pax bu rew bu nekk fof that's the big uh, dish there fekka ma fa dima stamp they came after me there and they were stamping on me la ñaka ko suma buñu yep that was where i lost my teeth lost my eyesight bet legi i lost my eyesight till till that is ma buti yefula yaho all my eyes were spoiled from there ñu ngi suma bobu diko difim ci photo photo bi they held my head and they were smashing it against the muddy water you said you lost all your teeth da ne da nga ñaka sa buñu yep all of them are gone Your smile seems to suggest that there are still some. On top, but uh, all the front ones are gone. Because if they held your head and they keep smashing it against the mud, my eyes. That's how, that was how they all got spoiled. So the mud entered your eyes. Yes. Yeah. sand lu nekka everything mo da gudi sa duma de gis which is why in the night i can't see mo solo lu ne duma gis if i don't put on my spectacles i can't see ke sa suma ko tie duma de mo ne gis if i hold the paper i am unable to see and uh, after all that beating did they leave you behind ganaa buñ la doore door yoy yep nak ndax ci lañ bayyi nañ la ganaaw wa fa lañ ñu bayyi parce que xam nga crowd ba ngi bari yes that was where they left us because there was a huge crowd ñu sen opinion ñu mënu pour door ñu daanu suñ kaw and their opinion was just to come and beat us up and am na ñoo xamne tie nañ leen be aggressive towards us but there were some that were arrested ñu bari meene man non la lose crowd bi that was how i sneaked out of the crowd duga dikante jakaranda i went between jakaranda that way non la escape that was how i escaped how were you able to see naka nga defo nak be mu na gis i was not blind i was blind ma non try way ma ngi ma ngi suma boti way xamna fima jaay no place ma jar no cross tali tali su fekko demu so do ñu sax ma don ray I tried to open my eyes and cross the road and if a dollar vehicle was coming it was going to kill me. My face was protoporo la one time. The whole of my face was uh, covered in mud. Mange bleed. Mange bleeding. I was bleeding. Okay. I was bleeding. And then what did you do after passing through Jakaranda? Legi lo def nak ganaaw bo jaare nonu romba Jakaranda. Da mo duga kani fing. I went into Kani thing. Ma jaar ci yoni ganaaw bi. I took the back way. Ma jaar ci bag way bi ci ganaaw. Through the back. And then what happened after? Fofula do hay be banjul. That's where I walked up to banjul. Me mo try pi ma dem ci l'hopital bi. I tried and uh, got to the hospital. Ma dem ci l'hopital bi gaay ne duñ ma mëna laal fum nega ni. When I got to the hospital they said they will not be able to attend to me. Ma jaar dem police. until i went to the police first i said to them officers. this was done to me by soldiers police and pi officers the following morning i got up uh, my face was rinsed with uh, salty water i clinic i went to the clinic private clinic to a private clinic ma fay i paid mu dress ma I got they dressed me. Ak suma baram bi sila yaho bi legi. My my finger too that was where it uh, suffered a problem. It cannot uh, bend. And uh, then what happened after that? I'm going. Dana lol nak lana xew. Mu jog ma dem ker. Ma dem suñ ker. I went to our home. Dem suñ ker fa lay relaxé. That was where I relaxed. So my time to dress you today, Madam Dressy. And when my dressing time comes, I go and uh, 
have my dressing. No, I don't manage it. That is how I managed. I'm already them dressing, more them dressing. More again, I got more them dinner. Each time I had to go for dressings, I would go and take half my dressings. Think on your own, sir. If I had to buy medication, I'll go out and have my medication. In fact, when my teeth kills me for baby, they stitched it. In fact, I treated myself until I got well. At what stage were you at the NIA? Ban jaman nonga ne konak NIA. One day when I was coming from dressing, uh, two individuals came to our home. They said to me they needed me. I asked them where and they said we need you. I thought they were police. They said no, we need you at the NIA. But see, I'm not you know you know you won't see you know you problem in Westfield. Because there are people who recognized you and they said you were part of the problem at Westfield. So what them you get some statement? So I went and they took down my statement. After they took my statement, they said to me, now you can go home. Anyway, if we need you, we will call you. I used to go there to report, but they did not detain me there. At what stage did you know that Solo Sandeng was there? That day that I went there was when I heard that Solo was, Solo was there. there. So, but on this particular occasion, you were not detained? I was not detained, but I gave my statement. Um, earlier on, you mentioned uh, that uh, you were dismissed from the Gambia Ports Authority. Wow. Yes. Uh, I would give you this document to take a look at. you take a look at the document? Can you tell us what it is? In 2011. Uh, uh, from which institution? I think it's from the admin. Uh, admin of which department? Ferry services. Admin Bufanla. Ferry services. Ferry, ferry services. Signed by who? And Moko sign. It's not signed by the managing director. It's signed by Maria, something Maria Masar. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you had provided some pictures. Uh, to the commission. Please take a look at this. Jerejef, I'm not a Natalio Hamne. You have a coffee commission. The center. We want to the commission as one to Take a look at that photograph. That's me. My hand and my finger. Uh, if you look at, can you tell us how long it took for your injuries to heal? Three months, dal. Maximum. It two took, or three months? It took between two and three months. Mm. Because uh, it went until the stitches went off. 
I get them to dress it. I was going to have my to have it dressed. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the photograph, you are wearing a coalition T-shirt, and uh, the bottom writing seems to suggest President-elect Adam Abaro. So sir, Lord Natal Binak, you are the T-shirt coalition B. The chief to all the major B, you have been the president Bintana Adam Abaro. Yes, this was the T-shirt I wore that day I stood at the Westfield. That was why they could easily identify me amongst the crowd. Uh, can you, but that is impossible. Why, Lolo, munta am? Because uh, the attack on Usain Udabo and the UDP uh, the executive preceded uh, the selection of Adam Abaro as a coalition candidate. Ndate, jamano juu usenu dabo banko don arrest mo jitu tana binga hamne mumle tana defko Adam Abaro muneka president. Diga la wata boki sathi geno ne. That's true. By that time, these t-shirts were in circulation. Nyoko print. They were printed. So these t-shirts could not have been out. The collections seeking funds to print these t shirts. I, I understand that no doubt you may have participated in that. But what I am driving at is as follows. These t shirts were only printed. After Adam Abaro was selected as coalition candidate. Tisad ye, bo you say bingen kode for feka na Adam Abaro nyu tan na kobe pare pour muta hauti to the coalition be. Tisad ye genon na mifulu, we go select ye. Nete di, you no koron print. Tisad came in Westfield. By that time. Masi you koron jai Westfield si bena bitik. When he was selected, that was when we printed them. They used to sell them at Westfield. Yep. And that is precisely the point. Mm -hmm. uh, these t-shirts were made after Adam Abaro was selected as the coalition candidate, correct? Yes, that's true. At that time, Adama came to join Usain Udabo and co, but they told him that he were not part of it. They told him to stand aside. Uh, we, we were heading to mile two. Don't be a part of it. Uh, uh, all that is not significant here, but the important thing is that the date that Usainu and co were arrested, these t-shirts were not printed, correct? I agree with you, Council. I agree with you. When they were arrested, they were not arrested. At this point, I agree with you. Thank you. And, and also, if at all your injuries have been healed, are they still there? Yes, they are still there. And also, if at all your injuries have healed, after two months, then it means to say that the injuries would have healed <coughs> by May, end of May or June. So if you can't get a gun, 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 you can't get a gun. Well, it's my memory can serve me. Well, I'm not going to get a gun. And Adam Abaro yes, was not be. selected as head of the coalition before December. To Adam Abaro, he was not selected as head of the coalition before December. So how do you explain this disparity? Nakanga muna wahena utebi amni. Utamu na nika a mistake to me. It can be. It can be a mistake. Utamu na nika mistake to me. Appeal chilolo. It can be a mistake on my part. I agree with you, and I appeal for that. Legi legi small brain. We leave more disturbance in my brain. Sometimes my brain. This has affected my brain. And 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 if you look at the writings on the T-shirt, it says President Elect. Adam Abaro. It means the elections had already occurred and Adam Abaro was already chosen or was already elected as president, but he's not yet taken over. The boss said, President Bintana, 
Adam Barrow. Bon, dans le ni bobo, tant que nous sommes co président, nous avons commencé à faire Which means to say that this picture was taken around January in 2017. Bon, nous sommes en train de faire le bon de January 2017. Do you see the problem? But the T-shirt was out a long time. I was the one wearing it anyway. I'm it. The, the problem I have with what you have said is whether those injuries are in fact consistent with the attack on UDP militants in April of 2016. Because this picture seems to have been taken in January 2017. No, I don't think. Uh, all right, uh, I'll proceed. Uh, and you were subsequently, uh, after the new government came, uh, did you make any complaint about your dismissal? Leginak, gana bungur gubes gi kumase, da amna ben tawat boko def kilinga hamne mola dal. Wow. Yes. Uh, what? Complaint did you make? Complaint I went to Jobate. Usman Jobate. Usman Jobate. Bomo the deputy managing director. He was the deputy managing director. Sma be a friend, mo fanya kon officer. One of my friends was there as an officer. Musa Ju, from na hamga kon Niga one. Musa Ju, I think you would know him, Niga one. Kuma mo call. He called me. Muna mo fanga neka. And asked where I was. Muna ko ah, mangi ba nyunde. I told him I was in Banjul. He told me, try and come to Jobate's office. You will find me there. I took a taxi. I went there. I met him there. Jobate told me to sit down. I sat down. He said to me, now your problem. Musa Job has appealed to me. Now we want to reinstate you. I said to him, well, if that is the case, then that is good news, thank God. The said to me that I should try and write an apology letter. He said to me, try and write it, and after you've written it, he said to me, give it to Musa, he will bring it to me. When I wrote it, I called Musa. I asked him where he was. And he said he was at the Albion place by the Albion school. There was a kiosk where he was having his breakfast. He said, he said, as you bend by the Buckle Street, you'll see the coast by the school. Opposite, opposite former Great Alliance Insurance. Mungi Carlo at Great Alliance Insurance. So I went there and met Moose. At that time, he was having his breakfast. I said to him, here is the letter. And I gave it to him. He told me to go and sit down and leave things in his hands, he will take care of it. I think the following day, or that day, or that, day that was when he went to Jobate and gave him the letter. I was sitting down, I didn't go there. So you were subsequently reinstated? Yes, I was reinstated. And you are reinstated? on Valentine's Day of 2018. <laughs> that must have been very sweet. <laughs> uh, February 14, 2018, you are reinstated, yes. correct? Yes. Good. 
Uh, you the letter? After they gave him the letter. Why before man, before they made the job, man, I man, na jail. But I went there. Then face Tambedo. Jobate said to me, relax, I will go and face Tambedo. And what Tambedo was the managing director. So, Jobate. Them to Tambedo. How many are discuss? How many are coming Jobate went to Tambedo. I don't but know. But suffice it to say that you were reinstated on 14 February 2018. That's right. I'm now on February 14 2018. Uh, but prior to this time, you had already made a complaint to the ombudsman, correct? Why, bala lolo na yobo nga satawat si ombudsman. Wow. Yes. And you subsequently had to withdraw uh, your request. Uh, your complaint from the office of the ombudsman. Then I'll get a tower, Bobunga Ham, the Mongo, you born to office ombudsman, Madam Nanguatko. Wow, yes, Skill from Mutahon. Because something was pending. Paski Casey GPA. Because the case of the GPA, Suneke ombudsman. If it is, if it is at the ombudsman, come on, you come on, decide. They cannot decide it. Um, take a look at those documents. Uh, you would see the withdrawal letter to the office of the ombudsman. Wow. Yes, the ombudsman and the statement letter. And uh, the, the other letter is your letter of reinstatement. Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, before I yield the witness, uh, before I can hand over the witness to you, I would wish to ask that uh, the following documents be admitted as exhibits. The chairman, Bala Malaji Balnak Sedebi, Damabuka Kati, Nudugal Kutibir Kati Sedei. That is the letter to the ombudsman withdrawing, withdrawing the complaint by the witness. My letter, being a hamne Sedebi, Bindo Nako Office Ombudsman, the Nangua Tower, being a hamne Momla for you born. Okay. The first exhibit would be 122A. The one I have just cited would be 122B. Jacobi, my number B, my 122A. Benen B, my 122B. And uh, the reinstatement letter would be 122C. Letter bin ko binda na purjela ko chili gebi mo awara neka 122C. And uh, the the photograph of the witness uh, in which he wore coalition gambia t-shirt uh, that should be uh, one two two d benen natal bi nga xamne nak sede bi mu ngi ci natalu te sol t-shirt coalition bi bobu mu na nek one two two d um and uh, with that mr chair if the documents are accepted as exhibits I would hand over the witness to the commission for further questions. Thank you very much. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Mr. Job. Yes, sir. Were you prosecuted in 2002? At 2002. Take into court. You court. 2002. Okay. Uh, let's deal with these documents first. Documents first. Thank you, uh, Council. Um, your requests, um, two, three, four of them, I think, are granted. Um, the discrepancies that you were referring to, alluding to regarding the photograph, what is the outcome? Uh, are I you satisfied that uh, the photograph is um, uh, authentic in the light of um, the date discrepancies and other things? Uh, are you satisfied? I am satisfied that the photograph is authentic, but I am not satisfied that the injuries showed are consistent with his testimony. Um, if the injuries he complained of occurred in April, and healed two months thereafter, they could not have been the same injuries as those shown in the photograph. Because it's quite clear that these photographs, in my view, were taken in January 2017. Um, so it's either 
that the witness is mistaken as to the connection between the, the injuries and the photographs that he gave, or the duration in which his injuries healed. But quite clearly, the witness could not explain. Uh, the, he could not explain away the, the discrepancies, uh, which, uh, I mean, I leave it to the commission to assess the credibility of the witness on that particular issue. Uh, I, I am under no doubt that uh, he suffered injuries, but whether the injuries in April are those that are depicted in the picture that was taken in January. Actually, my point was exactly on that one, whether or not um, uh, that um, would determine the authenticity of the photo. But if you are satisfied uh, with the other um, points, uh, I leave it to you to request them uh, the inclusion of these. Uh, yes, perhaps they should be included so that the commission would have a basis to assess the credibility of the witness on that particular issue. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Council, you may continue. I thought um, he had some questions for you before we have him. The Commission gets it. Uh, Mr. Chair, I have received this document from this witness. Perhaps it is something that we need to clear. Uh, I asked him whether he was ever convicted. Uh, when you were arrested in 2002, were you taken to court? Lima Bugalaj said, "Abi moi, been arrested in 2002. Nda yobu wana in court. Musmat how court? I never stood before a court. Mr. Witness, take a look at this document. It was provided by you. Said that kid, binga hamne yoya nyukajo." Have you seen this document before? This is a receipt when I was being released. This was what they wrote and gave to me. They said to me, hold it. When I was going, this was what I took. Who gave it to you? In, in mile two. Mile two. Did you read the document? I didn't look at it because my eyesight was a problem. Problem, you know. Uh, did they tell you what is the nature of this document? No, they told me nothing. Can we bring the document? The document reads as follows. Certificate of expiration of a term of imprisonment. Certificate la bo hamne jamo na jinja tia wunchi prison bijia. So it says whereas. Wahana nang ne chiko lulu. Number ninety six of two thousand and two. Number ninety six of two thousand and two. Lamin Job. Lamin Job was sentenced to a term of six months imprisonment. Then kote jon juan beni wele kaso. On the 27th day of May 2002. And has under Part 11 of the Prison Act, Cap 21. Uh, of 1990. 
serve the period of imprisonment required under Regulation 68 of the Prison Act. Apa binga hamne nag mamlen kutera loan pun mutte da kuchi kasabi te da na kobeje hal kuchwa lilua prison. It is deemed that the remaining portion of that sentence has expired from the 5th of July 2002. And it was signed for the Commissioner of Prisons. Mr. Job, what this document says? Mr. Job, can it says that you are prosecuted and imprisoned. And you, you are prisoner number 96 of 2002. And that you were sentenced for six months. And from the 27th of May. And that you have served a portion of that. Uh, and uh, that was uh, the, that expired on the 5th of July 2002. And that is the reason why you were released. What do you have to say about that? Council, I heard what you said. Why can't we? But this paper, they wrote it. Why man suffer my sentence? Six months in prison. But I did not serve a six month sentence in the prison. Definitely, when I was leaving, I was called and they gave it to me. When you produced these documents to the commission, did you know the nature and content of this document? Binga jele kaid bi indi kuchu commission bi johlen ko na hamonga lichi bi kaid bi aklim omba. It was mixed up in the documents that I brought in my papers. Uh, the, the, the commission would examine this. Commission bi nengo said. If the prison would issue a certificate of expiration of a term of imprisonment to someone who's not been taken to court and sentenced. But that would reflect a fundamental problem in the prison system. Uh, but we rest assured the commission would look into this. Uh, Mr. Chair, I ask that this document also be exhibited. Mr. Chair, as exhibit 122E. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. They could have done it for their own plans, but I did not serve the sentence. Because uh, uh, there's no truth at the prisons. Because whatever pleases them, they could free me for it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank you, Council. Um, and uh, your request uh, is granted also. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Your witness, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, thank, thank you, Council, and thank you, Mr. Joe, for coming to testify before the Commission. Thank you very much, Chair. I'm sorry that you're still suffering from the consequences of the horrific mm -hmm. and the massive torture that you had endured in the hands of um, uh, agents of the state. Suffering was um, quite extraordinary. Commissioners, if you have any questions, please indicate. Yes, I'm a Commissioner Carr. I'll start on the Commissioner's on the right hand. Commissioner Carr, you have the floor, please. 
Thank you, Chairman. Man, small question, Belunda or Rexy? My question is a, a small one. You know what? Daniel Lamohan gave me the apology letter. You said earlier on that they had asked you to write an apology letter. Lan Lan Ladon was going to apologize for. If I get you correct, speaking in Degana, so before. If I heard you clearly, what were they asking you to apologize for? When Jobate called me, he said to me, this case, because at that time, when it happened, it was advantage. The managing director that was there, whatever he did, he was, it was not lawful. Because I want to all their executive powers. There were some directors that took their own executive powers. Even if they wanted to help someone to employ him, he would not accept. He will choose his own people and employ them at the ports. Someone like Jobate is uh, from Banjul. Very helpful somebody. Is someone that is very helpful. All the natives of Banjul that are working at the port, they, he brought them in. That time he was the director of operations. He was not yet the deputy managing director at the time. When it comes to the dock workers, all the natives of Banjul that are there were brought in by Jobata. He had a lot of sympathy for the people of Banjul. So, that was why he said to me, apologize, apologize. write an apology letter and just apologize to fast track your issue. Because we are all natives of Banjul. What happened to you was a provocation, but you wouldn't say it. After I wrote it, two weeks. It did not uh, take two weeks. I just sat there and they called me. It's my friend, my the friend that I sat with, he had a vehicle. I said to him, please, could you drop me the ports? I'm cold. I got inside and we went. When I got there, the messenger said to me, this is your letter. I'm a sign up and asked me to sign, he told me that you have been reinstated. That was how it went. What I cannot understand is that, if at all, they troubled you, as you explained it, why would you have to write an apology letter? That is what I don't understand. They mentioned it, so I just agreed. I cannot refuse. It's my interest I was following. Definitely. I shouldn't have done it. But I realized that if I did not do it, and that is what they asked me to do as an authority, so I just complied and did it. I just wrote it. Thank you. Commissioner Boja. Mr. Jou. I sympathize with you for all the difficulties that you have gone through. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What I want to ask you is, before you were dismissed, where were you posted? Barajali. The dismissal letter for them called Najako, a report of Fintinijako, Ibuka Sontala, do call a co, Allah, Luaya for Yami, do call a Luaya for Yami. For all them for wanted, because dismissal letter by Noli Jiko. Letter binga hamne nak momlen binda ne dacha ne lechi ligeibi linfa binda moine yo ninga warundi dem diligeye ro dan dem ligeye je nunu lolen binda chile letter bine lolo mota ne dacha la how ma yo nak na hagi se lolo on your dismissal on your dismissal letter it was written that the reason why you were dismissed is because you were not executing your functions as expected is that true and how do you react to that? 
I heard what you uh, said, but I think if you push someone to a place where he is going to work, where he has no mother or father, I them this said post it at Barajali Station, Ferry Bohamne. You post someone at a Barajali Ferry Station, a post which is Ferry Bohamne, he now Luma Luma la leda. Which is only operational on Lumos. Commissioner Kintengi, the Farandjar. Commissioner Kintengi is here. He used to cross there. No, no, someone neck Esima. Be no goodi. He came to my room and woke me up one night. I'm going to go to Jara put them Brikamaba. He was to cross over to Brikamaba. See, I'm a dead body. Because they had a, a dead body. No go fat him up. I will not forget that at all. So, same customer, every year I every time. So, a customer, he crosses with the ferry all the time. He knows how Barajali is like. When you sit in Barajali, the mosquitoes uh, come to you like rain. For, you will not even have a proper room to sleep in. Commissioner Kinte knows what I'm talking about. Secondly, to have even good food, you cannot. If they uh, come to the wars, you, you may have porridge. So before you post someone there, you should uh, look on the side of accommodation where the person will stay. Those are not in existence there. It's very difficult. Abaraka, Nyela o kumo moele. Ni aje ni ni nka. Ye kumo ulfo jane. Bali mambara jali moi. Malung dalulomi atina. Ye dismiss. Ye dalulomi foko. Ye dismiss. Eko usenda usenda bo. Eka fengko mindi abunya mindi al. Bali nata kai to kono ngani sifa jaje. Wala nani ni nka. Police asa ni yande. Ni mi atina kante mi nje anite mi fo imanke kinote. So we say malaki la lolo, moine chisa kadu tudulo fisa bara jali. Te damagis na yobinga wa danga wahne sa anda akninga don berale loho usei nuda ba bui jala lolo mota benda hala. Te nak magis lenen ute ak lolo lo hamne nyungko bina chile tarbi mota malaki la punga lea. Lolo tarbi gala mota malaki la kuko fufu hamna na yaga yaga lolo tarbi na nyung. <laughs> that is true. That is why I made it clear to her there, because I know that uh, in time that issue will come up. All of that is justified. You post me in the, in the bush so that I'll be far away from you. When, when that happened, did you protest or not? Even if I protested, they wouldn't have listened to me because there was a dictatorship government in place. How could you dismiss someone from work without even giving them a warning letter? The letter is not signed by the managing director. And the letter is not even signed by the managing director. What kind of dismissal is that? That is a provocation. If you dismiss someone, use the right procedure. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Job, before I give the floor to Lankinte, Barajali is not quite Alabi. You have him um, uh, uh, is the home of the former president and uh, his father, who was a very rich man in that part of the provinces, uh, um, came from Barajali. Uh, Mr. Kinde, you have the floor. Barajali nak do alabide ndahte president bawon for the deconte bayam donon nako hamne ko amon alel la Mohammed fo fu la fahe ko. Gala, nim fale nim facilis facilis nim amon fo fu yep. All the facilities we used at that time came from the household of Sadaula Kerawa. Brother Sadaula, Alayi Jawara. From his brother, Alayi Jawara. Very close. I'm very close. A close friend of mine. We are very close. So they get to feel the value of the man. Talk me what on. Used to visit me and we chatted. They have spoken personally. He liked me personally. They get to see us. So we go to get to know my goodie. No, I want to come and film the kind of story. Because ah, the guy was good. So, so I'm a writer. So, book, book, it's a fella. 
Kuna shana kitu kingine hamna limao. Is a place where by even if you are a motorbike. One madam one madam one madam uje wacha. The highness mo. Kuba school bomo de yo. Bag like danga gel morso la has kofa. Asi buki kungi se sign of the reflector line de nga tofa. The motorbike reflector would have to be covered by a cloth because if the highness so the reflector will come following after you. Buki fo fling de tao ik. There was a hill there. We had the highness. Thank, thank you very much indeed um, uh, for those bookie stories. Um, uh, uh, Commissioner Kinder, you have the floor. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. I will strengthen what you said uh, during those days. That place was uh, quite hard. Why? Port Authority, Linyakon Moy, Puru Waratete Nini, Bunilena Yobu for Hamne. Mungo would agnyom fun fun mean. What the port authorities lacked at that time was how to uh, help comport those who were being moved uh, to uh, an area where they are not uh, familiar with. Kwa njenga hamne nyom denyen Santa Purunyu demlige ag mboloi ki alabi mboloi ki kaugi. Those that we are asked to work with the communities in the provinces. Denyen le jangal benga hamne denyen muna mengo agnyom ted feka duneka problem. They used to. Uh, sensitize them in a way that they will be able to cope with the situations when they get there. Munona wabena why Solomon Oins nekona kiang karantaba. I can from Banjul, so it was you uh, know Solomon Oins who was Solomon. from Banjul to kiang karantaba. But based on the extension orientation, he adapted very easily until he was going to wrestling matches at night with people, with uh, youths of Karantaba and so on. So uh, that's what is lacking in, uh, I admit that. If you had been orientated properly, you could easily adapt to the situation. Yeah, I have Solomon Owens. Mom, I have been here for a long time. 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 That's true. That's true. Metul na lol linga lila dalon te. I sympathize. Lolo feel na inkotorop. With what happened and we feel it a lot. While na naksa wata na esa. But one thing in your discussion with the council. Ah, wahon ganyan e door yun la door ak masi kurang yun la mas tahna be nyakanga sa Goria. You said to us that the torture you endured and the electrocution uh, that you you also endured uh, led to you losing your manhood. Why bobo mungla dalon NIA benaver nga jogi fofu dem prison nyari ver yabole ko nyati ver. That happened to you when you spent the, the month at the NIA and then you went to the prison for another two months. Bila esa la jenda sajabat de fula don set ci finila tia one. When the council asked you whether your wife was visiting you where you have been detained Dengane boba feka saja bar mum demna. You said at that time your wife had already left. She couldn't bear it. Lihe umoi bimyege ne ne katulo gor mota muda u. Is it when she was aware that you are no longer a man that that was when she left? No landa. By mati. When I was arrested. Under detention. Ah. And on detention. If you have bad friends, they lead you on to ways where they don't have husbands and you have a husband and they keep telling you that you are here wasting your time. We have a lot of those cases here. When you have friends who are not married and you make them your friends. Wow, lagi lihat japa mata mu mudem, wah duduk lengan nyaka sa Goria, nyari. Pas kita buka kira lolo lah, nak kalai yang ni dengan nyaka lolo, bel lolo tak mu wara dem. So, kon lolo tak hud mudem. Was it? Was it? Deflat jamburek, japa nain lah, jambun alat dem na. Was it? Wah duduk ni dengan dia lusi kerji, mungkin ni munulah munatulah dahan, munela demal. Mune man madam. 
Yeah. Was, was it a result of uh, your uh, arrest that uh, led your wife to leave you, or was it after she realized that um, you are no longer able to function as a man? And if that is the reason, how did she know that uh, you are no longer able to function as a man because you have not gone home where she could prove that you are unable to perform and then to, to, before she could make such a decision? Mm -hmm. You are making me laugh, Commissioner. Mm -hmm. What happened to me? <laughs> I am speaking and laughing, but it's not. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the way you, you, the statement you made, which makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. Whether she got information. Mm -hmm. And this, bit, this betrayal you are talking about is what stands. What I faced. Up till date, I'm facing it. I live all in the hands of God. Maybe that is something that was to have happened to me. Maybe that is what God destined for me. So, It looks as if okay. uh, you were exposed to her before you were released. Okay. Bad friends, I mean. Just as I told lead you, you, in the wrong way. When you have bad friends, they lead you in the wrong way. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Job. Uh, what I want to know is you had 24 stitches on your hand. Uh, did you get the treatment when we, you were at the police or after you left? I went out with my pains. I went and treated myself. If you look at it, you can count them. It's okay. I just wanted to know whether the police had treated you when you were in the. They did not have my time. What they wanted was for me to die there. Thank you. Um, Mr. Job, if you have any concluding remarks to make, please proceed to do so now. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, the Commissioners seated here. My younger brother, the senior counsel. And all those he's sitting with. I thank the press here, all of them. What happened to me? Maybe it was something that was to have happened to me. I did not pray to God for it. But maybe this is what God destined for me. It is hard. Because what I experienced in my body, what I felt, I know it. But maybe this is what God said, that before I die, this would happen to me. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. Why live here for 22 years? But what happened there for the 22 years, let us not accept it again. It was painful. Today, we thank God with the establishment of the TRRC because many thought this would go in vain. Because even at our workplace, they used to mock us. And these are boys who just talk. These are the boys of Banjo. We will teach them a lesson. They dislike Yajame the most. But those who support Yajame and what he did to his relatives, and what Yajame did to Gambians, all of them, all of it we saw here. We are pleading because they say that we should forgive one another. That was why the TRRC was established. We appreciate it a lot. 
Nit sula tonye. If someone troubles you, wow, mungo kujegal. You can forgive the person. Wow, mungo kujegal. Fi aruna la. You can forgive the person. This is the world. Ina lula dal dal na samoro. Maybe what happened to you also happened to some other person. Wow, nyu nyani alarek. But let's pray to God. Nyu nyani li bumfi amati. That uh, such does not happen again. The Sufi Abu Di is a new. Let him bumfi Abu Di at all. That did not happen at all. Because in 22 years, nobody has been encountered. Because also what we encountered in the 22 years. Today is so nice that all are able to sit and eat and nourish and eat. Today is so nice that all are able to sit and narrate what happened to them. You buy your pillow, how yalla? Let's leave all in the hands of God. Yalla mo, yalla mo, 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 mo. God is able. Let's leave all in the hands of God and know that this is the extent to which God will sit. Those that did this to me, I have forgiven them. I leave them with God. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Mr. Job, for your testimony. And again, truly sorry that you had to suffer so much in the hands of the NIA. Jadi jeff Mr Job, silingan yang jauh lebih sesuai dengan new mitri lutamit nak linga hamne mula dal ciloh NIA. And thank you also for the concluding remarks and the forgiveness that you expressed vis-a-vis your torturers. Di la gerem lutamit si linga hamne mui kadu muda ing fi jauh, ak linga wah nak lu aju si je galan tebi si linga hamne nyola don mitri tan. This ends our proceeding summer for this afternoon. We'll meet again tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming.